So with this whole coronavirus thing, I'd encourage you to do one thing. If you've got neighbors that are in one of these sort of risk categories, either elderly or with maybe some immune weakened system, um, go check on them. See if they need anything. No sense in letting them risk going out to the stores if they need something. A lot of it can be ordered in. You can help them out with it. Some may not know how to do it. I know my dad was reluctant to try grocery delivery at home. So I'm going to go check on one of my neighbors just to make sure if he needs anything, you know, I, I'll run out and get it for him, whatever. So keep our community safe. You guys can all do the same. Thanks. Hey everybody, it's Gil here with the Sailing Vessel Dream Chaser. And this week we show what we're doing to stay socially distant. Man, it's so different, right? They call it the new normal. I don't think so. I'm not used to it, quite frankly. But we show what we're doing to stay safe, make sure we're staying six to 10 feet apart from other people, even if we happen to be out and away from our home. Uh, primarily, we're staying in, but this week we just needed to get out a little bit. We'll show you what we did just to get out of the house, right? Not around other people, but out of the house. So we do a little bit of work around the house, some, some hedges and nonsense like that. And we take a wonderful boat ride out through Boca Grande Pass into the Gulf of Mexico, and we cruise down around um, Cabbage Key, which is an area uh, near the Gulf of Mexico, south of Fort Myers uh, area, if you will. Beautiful time. Saw dolphins, the whole bit. The water was beautifully clear. Hope you enjoy riding along with us. Last week, we showed how to go ahead and update the software on a Garmin chart plotter for your boat. If you didn't see that video, I'll put a link to it if you're on a mobile device right up in this particular corner. It'll pop up one of those little info cards. If you're on any other device, I'll put a link in the description down below. Hey everybody, with all this social distancing on coronavirus, it's pretty amazing, right? We all find ourselves in the house and you'd think that shouldn't be all that much of a change for us. The reality is I work from home. One of the kids actually homeschools. Uh, Deb is retired. She doesn't work. So you'd think, well, this is kind of the norm. but it's amazing how it doesn't change our day-to-day -day routine, but the fact is you hear about it and sort of psychologically it impacts you a little bit. So I'm feeling this unbelievable need to just get outside of the house a little bit. And if this was a regular work day, we would all have been inside without an issue and not thought twice about it. But now because of it, I can be outside doing something. Now, I figured I'd take advantage of that. I can still be socially distant, right? My, you know, my neighbors are across the street or across the canal. Um, so I'm going to take advantage of this and come on out and do some work in the yard for a little bit. And Maybe get some things cleaned up that we can need to do. I, I've got some bushes back here that, oh yeah, I love that. I'm so happy we had this lady paint this mural of our boat on the front of our house. I think it's the coolest thing ever. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to go behind me here. I'll show you these bushes. I need to get them trimmed up a little bit. I'm just going to shape them. And then I've got some bougainvillea plants out here, which I don't know if you've ever touched these things. Man, they are full of thorns. It's like a, I don't know, it's like a, it's like a personal assault every time I go to trim these friggin' hedges. But I'm going to cut them way down low. They get these beautiful flowers on them. But um, unfortunately, ours look more like trees than bushes. So I'm going to show you what ours look like, and I'll show you one of the neighbors because theirs look really good, and I want to mimic that. All right, so these bushes up front are kind of nice. They're starting to flower a little bit, but they're also lost their shape just a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and round these all over like a ball shape. mission accomplished. They're not perfect, but they're better. My goal here is to keep cutting another inch or two off of these things. So if they grow an inch, I want to cut two or two and a half off. My, my goal is to shrink the bushes and get them smaller, but if you cut them way down low, they just really look bare. So I'm hoping I can do it just a little bit at a time so the green leaves will grow back even when it's in this sort of springtime. I expect this to get bigger. Um, so I gotta tell you a funny story. I hate snakes. Hate them. They make me crazy. I just, they, they, they eke me out. So I'm getting ready to go outside and right in this bush, Deb says, um, hey, if you're out there doing those hedges, um, watch out for bear or whatever, some name. Of course, there's a snake in that bush that they see. It's a little black razor. They see it all the time. Um, and it's Deb. So she's named it. It's her outside pet already. So I look at her. I'm like, 
That's interesting. So you think because you mentioned it to me, I'm not going to freak out if I see it? Because she's like, well, I just want to tell you so you don't freak out if you see it. I'm like, I'm going to freak out. And now I'm going to worry about it the whole time I'm standing <laughs> <laughs> trimming that edge too. No, I never did see him. Luckily, whatever his name was, didn't come out. No, enjoy your little bush back there, buddy. <laughs> All right, so here's what we have going on in the front of the house. Love the big Bismarck uh, palm tree. And these birds of paradise are pretty, but certainly they need to be trimmed up. And then you got this bougainvillea. You can see they're beautiful flowers when they do flower. But I'll show you up close. They have these crazy thorns on them. Take a look at this. Uh, these look really pretty when they flower, but take a look at the thorns on this thing. I'll just kind of go in here and, and try and zoom in on this. Like here, right there. Can you see that thorn right on my middle finger? And every time I reach in here to trim these things, they're all over this. You can see just what a mess it is. It's, uh, it's like an assault. It's horrible. So we've got this one here, and then we also have a couple more right here. Now to give you an idea of what these can look like here, I'm going to spy over on my neighbor here for a second here this is across the street from me and this guy's look wonderful so we're gonna see if we can trim ours nice and low and get them like this they're almost more like ground cover in front of his house and as I can say as I said ours could really use some trim in here so bougainvillea is on this side and that birds of paradise right over on that side I went ahead and trimmed it until the trash can was full. That's my sort of, I'll do a little work every week on this, but I don't go too crazy. That's how we've been trimming the holly bushes in the back. Uh, you can kind of see it behind me. I'll turn the camera around here in a minute. I also uh, started to look at this Birds of Paradise, but given I ran out of space and I can see that that's going to darn near fill one of my trash cans or bags, I'll do that one in a couple of days. I got rid of a lot of this thing. I'm really debating on whether or not I just cut it right down at the ground where that big old trunk comes out of the ground so this thing comes back as a bush. These things grow like friggin' weeds, so I have a feeling it probably would. As a matter of fact, here's the one on this side. Sorry about the shadow here, but you know, even this one I thinned it out quite a bit. I trimmed some off this morning before the the lawn, you know, they come by every Saturday to pick up palm fronds and stuff. Um, so I filled that trash can this morning as well by cutting some of the big stuff out of this grouping here. But again, wouldn't that look a lot nicer if that was two feet tall instead of four feet tall? <laughs> and that that birds of paradise over there wasn't the size of our car. <laughs> it might look a little better. You can see I, uh, I just put a trash can full of cuttings right behind the areca palm so you can't see it from the road too well. I'll take it out Friday so they pick it up Saturday. Well now, I'm off to do something a little cooler, like maybe in the house. <laughs> Oh man, fun times, fun times. Yeah, see my nerd set up over here? Check this out. <laughs> That's where I filmed some of the stuff. I uh, bought a green screen just to play around with it, and it's a blast. I, uh, I've been enjoying the heck out of goofing around with that whole setup over there. It's been fun.
I swear he just looked around with his head up. Well, that was our boat ride. I hope you enjoyed coming along with us and you enjoyed this trip. As I mentioned before, we went to Cabbage Key. We did a little circumnavigation of um, upper and lower um, Giuseppe Islands, beautiful area out here in the Charlotte Harbor and Gasparillo Sound. Uh, please be safe, be healthy, do all the things that everyone's recommending, wash our hands, stay distance away from each other. And please do me a favor, check on elderly neighbors or people with immune um, challenges if you happen to have them in your neighborhood. Everybody needs a little helping hand and just going and checking on your neighbor can make all the difference in the world for that particular person. Thanks y'all, be safe out there. Mm -hmm.